Senator John Barrasso, Republican, Wyoming, he says the Biden administration has declared war on American energy and taken a sledgehammer to the economy. Strong stuff. The senator joins me now. Sir, as the top Republican on the Senate Energy Committee, what can you actually do about this? Can you do something to stop it? Absolutely, we can, Stuart. We are going to continue to fight this administration and Joe Biden and what he's trying to do because he has taken a sledgehammer, not just to energy, but energy jobs. We're talking about a million people who could lose their jobs. They're getting pink slips today. We know that people all across the country are going to end up paying more money to heat their homes and to drive because of the war against American energy that we're seeing from the Biden administration. Schools in Wyoming, okay. lots of money it? comes in. How do you all stop of it? these things are. Well, we're going to fight it in a number of different ways, Stuart. We're going to certainly do it in Congress. There's a bipartisan group of senators and House members who realize how foolish this approach is by Joe Biden and the administration. We all recognize that when you have John Kerry flying around in his private plane and telling these energy workers, a million of them, that they should just go and work making solar panels, take a pay cut, make wind turbines, that's not going to do it. Today on the Senate floor, we're going to have an amendment on the budget bill starting this. There's going to be cases in the courts on these things. We have a bipartisan group of governors who are opposing it as well. There's going to be a significant pushback and fight against what this administration is trying to do to hurt the American economy and send jobs overseas. Okay. Senator Lindsey Graham just told Fox News that he expects Mr. Trump's impeachment trial to run three, maybe four days. He also said, quote, if it runs longer than that, it's bad for the country. But, but, Senator, I would have thought that Republicans would want this thing to run on because it exposes what I might call the silliness of impeaching a former president and it crowds out the business of the Biden administration. Isn't that to Republicans' interest? Well, it's to the Republicans' interest to focus on what the American people are concerned about which is getting back to work and getting our kids back to school and getting the coronavirus behind us. In terms of the trial that starts on Tuesday, I believe it's unconstitutional. This is a political process. It's a prosecution based on politics and political revenge. Forty-five of us in the Senate already have voted that it's unconstitutional. I know how this trial is going to turn out. Uh, the president is, at the end, going to be acquitted. If this were even legitimate, Stuart, you would have the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court presiding. But we don't. What we have is a Democrat senator who has already voted to convict President Trump the first time he was impeached. So we need to get this beyond us and get back to the work of the American people. Do you want to see the president, Mr. Trump, appear at his own trial in the Senate? Well, I'm not going to do the strategy for the president and his uh, team, his defense team. They will make those decisions for themselves. I say, let's get the work of the American people done for them. And this, to me, this impeachment is completely unconstitutional and the trial is unnecessary. Senator John Barrasso, Republican Wyoming, thanks for joining us, sir. I'm sure we'll see you again real soon. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart.